Hello there, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you another cool feature with Proxmox. Now this is uh, one click turnkey containers. Now this has saved me about five hours of my life uh, deploying. If you can see at the side I've got uh, two WordPress websites, I've got two Nextcloud instances, uh, torrent server uh, and also Pi-hole. But Pi-hole is not included in the turnkey. Um, you have to compile that image yourself. So I'm going to show you a brief introduction to the turnkey platform. So uh, today we'll deploy WordPress as a test. Um, so let's just go to our storage volume and we want to click CT templates. Now this is where you would usually download Ubuntu. Uh, but we're going to click on templates. And if we scroll down a little bit, we'll see a turnkey section. Let me just minimize these two sections here. You can see that there's about, let's just say 500 here. That's just the guess. Uh, so if we search for WordPress, you can see turnkey WordPress is there. So all you need to do is click download and it will save into the directory that you've specified. So mine's the ISOs, which is actually my NAS that is running, uh, as you can see up here. But we're going to wait for it to download. Shouldn't take long. It's about 200 megabytes in size. About that anyway. Um, so it shouldn't take that long. Um, basically, Turnkey is a... I wouldn't say flavor of Linux, but it's like a Linux distro. And it allows you to deploy applications quickly. Now, you can do this on something like ESXi, but it requires installing Turnkey Linux uh, as an... VM, which are already inefficient compared to containers, and then it will install. So you can see now that the WordPress uh, runs on Debian 10, but the turnkey WordPress is there. So we're going to click on create CT now. We're going to give it a host name, so I'm just going to do test WP for test WordPress. We're going to leave the unprivileged container and the nesting checked. Enter a password. I'm just going to enter a weak password, but if you're using this as a public site, you should obviously secure it uh, with whatever you do. So we're going to select the WordPress template. You can see it's in the ISO storage. For disks, I'm just going to give my 32 gigabytes. Select the appropriate um, that you have below. Uh, for CPU, just give it a quad core and 512 megabytes of RAM is fine. I'm just going to do DHCP, but if you are port forward into the web, you should all but always set a static IP address. For DNS, local, and then Google's DNS will be fine. We go to the confirm section, click start after created, check that tick box there and click finish. That's it. We've configured uh, the container and now it's going to extract all the files which does not take long compared to installing WordPress on a VM you have to do loads of commands this one you set it uh, the resources and all that you do it and then it will just extract and do all of its stuff so um, as you can see we're already nearly finished uh, all of them come with SSH enabled which is great but you can see it says task or okay, care which means it's ready you can see at the bottom as well that it is starting so if we head to the test WP container you can see that you know it's starting to be utilized because if we look in console it's doing the magic so it's doing all of its commands its pre-checks creating an SSL certificate yes it creates its own self-signed cert uh, which is brilliant um, but we're gonna obviously wait for this to uh, boot also this video hasn't been cut yet um, and we're already ready to log in so the username's root and the password is the one that you set when you're creating the container but here we are you can see it's the first boot configuration so this won't happen again you're going to uh, set a username uh, sorry a root password so it has to be uppercase and have special characters and the admin account for wordpress so i just set them the same enter your email if that is uh, your thing uh, we're going to skip all the updates for now but that's it WordPress is ready so we're going to obviously access it through HTTPS because why not so if we type that in obviously connection is not private because it's self-signed but there we go that's WordPress just as easy as that uh, so if we go to wp-admin 
and then type in admin and then the password that you set we're going to click remind me later but you can set the email but there you go you're in word pressure in the dashboard and it's obviously very quick um, we could click update now and it will just update us to the latest version just because this turnkey template is a bit out of date uh, but it's an easy fix um, for something like a drive uh, I call it drive but it's really it's Nextcloud but I do have Nextcloud uh, a family Nextcloud so uh, if I just log into that sorry about that uh, just get a login you can see that this is also run off a turnkey template obviously this has more storage and cores so I'll just show you uh, briefly um, that obviously it's got 16 cores allocated uh, 4 gigabytes of RAM and 500 gig of storage and a 10 gig uplink um, as well so we click update WordPress database click continue and there we go so you will notice with WordPress as well, if you scroll all the way to the bottom, it says WordPress appliance powered by Turnkey. So you just type in on the internet, Turnkey Linux WordPress remove footer, simply. Top link here on the Turnkey forums and then copy these, paste them, if we press enter and then quit at the bottom. Yes, it will take us into the command line interface where we can just paste them two commands in press enter uh, refresh the page and there we go it's, it's gone so that's it hope you enjoyed the video a bit of a shorter one today uh, compared to a hackintosh guide but hopefully you enjoyed thanks for watching goodbye